Hello, my lovelies. This is Lian from Resin Chan Creations. I hope you are all doing well, and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be creating a large resin ocean art. So once again, I'll be showing you step by step how I do it. And here I have a large canvas in front of me that is 16 by 20 inches. I did paint it and seal it with gesso. So it's ready now to work on. And the first thing I'm doing is going in with my acrylic paints and I'm creating the seabed for my piece. This time I decide to uh, try to go more with greens on this piece because I want to see different uh, sea. Um, I have uh, seen a lot of pictures on Pinterest so I have lots of references in my head and I'm just trying to... Uh, create a little bit different uh, colors this time and this time I'm dubbing uh, painting with uh, this big brush usually I do with a sponge but I noticed that this brush it's quite hard and it works well as well I did protect my borders with uh, this tape and now I'm taking it off and it comes off a little bit uneven but it doesn't really affect my end result but I saw a tip on TikTok actually that uh, the tape should be removed while the paint is actually still wet so next time I'm gonna try it to do just that and now it's the next step it's to do the sand part so i mix my sand with pva glue or also known as elmer's glue and i spread it out until i'm happy how it looks and also at the end i do a sprinkle bit of dry sand on top just because I mix my sand and glue quite moist and sometimes the glue makes bubbles that come on the surface so if I sprinkle a dry sand uh, the bubbles disappear and I just after take off the loose sand and uh, save it for the next time and absolutely no issues with that. Right, speaking about sea and sun and beaches, uh, this is gonna be my uh, last video for uh, about three, four weeks because I am going on holiday and unfortunately I didn't make any extra videos so you just will have to excuse me and i'll carry on uh, when i return so this is the first layer and i like to mix my resin with tints uh, i start with the first layer just uh, blues and transparent i don't apply white for waves in the first layer this is kind of base just to also mark the wet line in the sand so on bottom i usually just go with transparent as i don't want to color my sand and just leave it a naturally looking beach uh, 
and I of course uh, blend it together and go over with my torch to pop the bubbles and then leave to cure and I try to work every day sometimes I like to uh, do my layer in the evening and then the next day morning while the resin is no 100% cured I'll do the next layer so this is the next day and again I have my blues and transparent and also I have my white so I spread the resin I let it to sit for about 30 minutes and then I come in and work on my waves so this is kind of the way that I find it works very well with this resin and the resin that I'm using it's called art resin so the pot life for this resin is 40-50 minutes so it's quite long and for this kind of works the best works uh, when the resin is uh, thicker and not so runny so I'll put some music in the background and let you enjoy my work in progress and basically every layer is the same I add resin, add waves and try to build the depth for the sea
And as I was working on this piece, I noticed that it's really hard for me to get this uh, wave definition that I'm trying to achieve here. Uh, I'm trying to pour the resin on top of resin. Uh, so it kind of looks that it's overlapping so the waves are overlapping each other but for some reason I can't get really this uh, definition that I'm after I'm not sure is it the sand because they absorb the resin I'm not sure at this stage but anyway, this is my, uh, I think, third layer and I'm still happy because I'm creating the sea that like, I would say last year, uh, this was not even in my dreams to do. So also I'm really proud because I feel like I'm getting there. Uh, as I always say, just practice and practice and in the end you're gonna get there. So this is what I'm doing, practicing and hopefully one day I will absolutely love everything that I'm doing here. So the next layer, again blues on top and then transparent on the bottom mix together wait 30 minutes pour the white line and make waves And now we are on the fifth layer and it's the final one and it's the hardest one because it should be a perfect and you should not uh, rush it. 
basically I'm trying that the resin wave is in a certain point so also because this piece has borders uh, the resin has only one way to go and it's down so if you pour too much resin it's gonna keep sliding down and if you have some point that you don't want to reach it can destroy the effect that you are going after so basically i thought that i was control in control of any everything i did wait uh, 30 minutes and i thought that i poured the right amount of resin but in the end of course the resin decided to move a bit down um it's still all right but i know that next time i will have to watch the resin more carefully and spend uh, more time to allow it to actually go where it wants to go so i pour less resin wait for uh, some 10 minutes to see uh, how low the resin is gonna go if it keeps moving i'll wait until it stops but if it stops and not moves and i'm still need that the wave is until certain point i'll add a bit because here you can see i have the wave in a curved line that i wanted um but here you see the resin moved on me and the wave basically became straight line i still like the effect but it's not one that i had in my head so anyway this is my finished piece and i'm super happy with it i like it uh, i'm really proud of it So if you found this video useful and entertaining, please let me know by leaving comment down below. But for now, I'm saying goodbye. Until next time, keep creating. Bye.